I'm going to demonstrate a few different ways to patch ribbons outside of just sending its 3-bit outputs directly to your RGB encoder. So for this patch currently, I have color gradients coming from scrolls to angles, which sends variations of those gradients into two FKGs. Those are being keyed by the D1 and D2 outputs of ribbons. Changing the keying modes yields different results, different combinations. Outline mode, not really going to do anything. So let's demonstrate how this is patched. Right now I have pre-patched the first FKG into the background of the second, which is sent to ESG3. First, I want to take any shape from DSG, send that into ribbons and then take two outputs from ribbons, in this case D1 and D2. Send into the key inputs of each FKG. You could send D0, you could send any of the DAC outs. My preference is D1 and D2. Adjust these controls to your taste, get some nice tight lines. I prefer larger windows for our color gradients to peek through. Speaking of which, let's add those colors. Take some ramp outputs from scrolls. It's in HH mode right now. Go into the two H inputs of angles. Send red into the foreground of the first FKG3. Then green. Then blue. So now you can see some color being added in there. And we'll just do the same for the second FKG. Angles is functioning as a way to get many variations of the same signal. Different combinations of these yield shifts in the color gradient. Maybe you want more orange or yellow. You don't need to patch in any particular order, so long as it's in the same column. I like that pink color. Pink and green? Why not? Why not get some yellow in there too? So I want to make this diamond a little less basic. Easiest way to do that is to chain one output of DSG into the other. Pick any shape you like. I happen to like this one. Let's introduce some movement. That's where our DWO comes in. It's in an unsynced V mode. So we're just going to get horizontal scrolling bars. Send a sine wave out here into the center input of ribbons. Take a sine wave out here. Send that into the span. Cool thing about ribbons is that the modulation goes through zero. So you'll see as we go more negative at the CV input, these nodes will appear, these crossover points. Slow down the scroll a little bit. That's one alternative use of ribbons as a key source. Another way to start a patch is in conjunction with the Video Headroom System's channel. Right now I have this diamond shape out from DSG to ribbons, with our DAC out to ESG. Channel in this case is functioning as a feedback router. When D1 and D2 outs are sent to channel's left inputs, and these two green cables feed back to the ribbon's CV inputs, we have a way to select where in the picture our feedback textures go. So as I turn up these CV inputs, you're going to see ripples and tears in our signal. We have a lot of chaotic elements in this patch now. And all of these chaotic elements are tamed by channel. This can be used in conjunction with the previous patch, to get more unpredictable results with very few modules. So why don't we try that? Here's a combination of the last two patches I showed you. I have the ribbons outputs going into channels 1 and 3 inputs. Scrolls ramps are selecting which channel is selected. The second channel of scrolls provides our color gradients in conjunction with angles. This time I'm using different outputs from ribbons as our key source. 
positive DAC output and D0 are our keys for FKG now. Now let's see what it looks like when we start playing with these attenuverters. You can get as crazy as you want with it and the signal will really break apart. Let's go a little faster. Start to turn up both attenuverters on ribbons. Now you can see the signal's really having trouble maintaining its integrity. Having trouble keeping composure. These two levels of attenuation with channel and the ribbon CV attenuverters gives you a lot of control of the feedback. From crazy noise or just subtle edge ripples. I kind of like where it's at right now. The ripples that are contained within those black zones. Colors in the background provide some visual interest. You can scroll these colors a bit faster. Yeah, that's a nice one. I hope this video helps you find new ways to patch your ribbons module. Thanks for watching.